Welcome back. <laughs> so for this loaf, I just took the lid off my plate and it's the morning. And here's the dough and what it looks like. It's kind of hard to turn over, but it's, you can kind of see the consistency. Um, I normally don't mess with it at all. I literally just slide it out of the bowl. I'll show you into the pan in the oven, which is already preheating at um, 500. So this is the step um, that I'm going to do with you. I'm going to make a rosemary um, sun-dried tomato. And if I add toppings in, I'm going to do it the morning of. I'm not going to do it the night before because I just want it to fully ferment. Um, I don't think I've tried sun-dried tomatoes. If I had like, well, I do have goat cheese, but I haven't tried goat cheese in my bread yet. So I'm just going to add a couple scoopfuls of sun-dried tomatoes because that sounds incredibly yummy to me right now. I'm going to... um mix this up and then I'm going to show you what the dough looks like. Okay. I yes, those three. Okay. I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I apologize. So the morning you're going to preheat your Dutch oven or I do have a stone bowl. Um, and I just put a lid on top of it and I'm going to do two loaves at a time. So you can definitely just do one if you don't have a Dutch oven or two pans. Um, so preheat Dutch oven or pan with a lid 500 for 30 minutes when you wake up in the morning just put it on 500 let it warm up but now before i bake it i'm going to turn it down to 425 i realized 450 was too hot for my oven so 425 and you're baking it for 40 minutes look at how beautiful that looks oh <laughs> so not all my kids i mean they have good taste buds but not all of them are going to like that and that's fine that i can have i can handle this loaf <laughs> But this is what just a regular loaf looks like, and I'm not going to um, flavor this at all. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So I'll literally just plop it in the oven, in the pan, just like that. You don't need to knead it. Nothing. You don't need to put oil on the top. You don't need to put salt on the top. It's beautiful just the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to get a pan out here and then show you how I plop it in. Okay, so I have my loaf right here, my sun-dried tomato, and I just took this one out of the oven. I'm gonna take the lid off because the steam, see that? That's gonna be beautiful. And this is all you're gonna do, regardless if you put sun-dried tomatoes in it or not. You're just gonna plop it. You can kind of hear it steam a little bit. I'm just gonna center it. That's all you have to do. Put the lid on, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven, and then I'm gonna grab my other container here. And I already turned my oven down to 425. Okay, so this is one of those Pampered Chef <clears throat> stoneware bowls. My lid broke. That's okay, I'm just going to use another lid. Um, so this is just the plain loaf. I'm just going to pop it in here. And I'm going to put, I think this lid fits. Hold on. I like how small this is, so like the, the loaf kind of is tighter. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this in here and put the lid on. And then this is gonna bake for at 425 or 40 minutes. And then after that, we're just gonna slide it off onto a wire rack. Did I say 40 minutes? Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that's it for the loaves. Um, I can maybe post a picture later on what the loaves look like, but <clears throat> after the 40 minutes, I'll just take them out, put them on a wire rack, and then you eat them because they're delicious. So that's all there is to it. I mean, the night before is, um, like the part one video is maybe the most work you'll have to do. When you wake up in the morning, you just preheat your oven and you, once it's preheated, the key is preheating those containers. That's what's essential. And <clears throat> I did not make up this recipe. I actually, um, well, I add a little bit more salt, so maybe it's a tiny bit my recipe, but you know if you adjust recipes. But um, if you, uh, there's a cookbook out there that's just, that just says einkorn, and einkorn is a berry, like a wheat berry, and it's one of the ancient grains that are phenomenal for you. Um, it's a little bit pricier than, let's say, the hard red wheat that I baked these loaves with, but einkorn... I love the flavor of einkorn berries. Um, but anyways, this recipe is just called overnight sourdough bread in the einkorn 
cookbook. And it's a beautiful loaf on top. So whether or not you want to buy it or not, um, you can get it at the library because I copied this recipe from my friend's cookbook who had that einkorn um, cookbook. <clears throat> so that's all there is to it. So don't be intimidated. Don't be nervous. Um, this isn't one of those fancy sourdough recipes but you could uh, that you have to weigh everything. I just don't like that type of baking. I prefer cooking. I like that creative part of cooking. So baking, I just want it to be tried and true. And this is perfect. It does its job, a good fermented loaf. And it's easy and it's quick. And um, the kids will get full off of like one piece of toast in the morning because it's so like, well, not really dense. It's just, it's filling. You know what it's like with home milled grains. It's just filling. Um, and it's sour. It really is. So I figured, hey, it's easy. I don't have time for all like the super fancy stuff. And that's really not me. I don't want to make time for that, but I want healthy, good, nourishing food. Um, okay, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.